So season two of Overwatch is going to have a big problem. So we now know that the new tank Ramatra will be available for free in the battle pass, but only after you've reached tier 55. Yeah, you heard that right. You need to complete roughly 70% of the battle pass in order to unlock the new hero and that's if you want to do it for free which is kind of the problem because it's almost like forcing you to buy the battle pass if you want to use the new hero before other people who aren't going to get the battle pass i find this to be really exploitive and very unhealthy to lock heroes behind paywalls i think unlocking heroes through monetization is okay if there is a reasonable way to unlock the hero for free we have a little less than 30 days left in the season and I still know players that haven't even unlocked Kiriko yet. And I want to make it clear that this isn't going to be an issue that affects me because I'm going to get the battle pass regardless because that's just something kind of I do in every single game that has a battle pass I go ahead and get one and that's because I know that I'm going to complete the battle pass every time. But the problem with doing it this way are the players who don't want to spend money on the game or choose to spend their money on skins that they want instead of the battle pass because maybe they simply don't see any value in it will have to wait an incredibly long time in order to unlock the new hero. I think this is going to be problematic because the more players playing the new hero makes it a lot easier to balance him if he needs it of course and if he doesn't need it it gives players a better feel on how to play against the new hero because locking him behind this paywall and making it so far away increases the scarcity which will decrease how often that you actually face one. In all honesty I think it would be okay if they put him at like level t anywhere from 10 to 20 in the battle pass to unlock him for free but 55 is just in my opinion way too much i think another issue that can occur is the fact that what if ramatra is just so powerful that you almost need to play him in competitive now we know he's not going to be available right away in competitive but after that two weeks mark there's still going to be people that don't have him unlocked but after that point some people may be playing heroes that get countered incredibly well with ramatra but because they don't have him and because they don't have the battle pass they can't pick him another issue is that the c Season starts around the time when a bunch of people are going to be getting gaming gear. The season starts December 6th and around that time is during the holidays where people are getting a lot of gifts and many people want to get gaming gear like new consoles or new PCs. And maybe that person who's getting their new platform wants to try out Overwatch and considering that Ramacha is the new hero for the season, it's very likely that they'll want to play them. But because you've hidden them behind this paywall and in order to unlock them for free, you have to reach level 55 and the free rewards. They're just doesn't seem reasonable to me. So what are the solutions? Firstly, one of the things that I think they will do is probably introduce a hero challenge for the new hero. For any players who haven't played Overwatch before, in order for them to unlock new heroes, they have to do hero challenges anyway. So to me, it only makes sense to go ahead and put the new hero in these hero challenges, especially since a lot of times they have lore that connects them to another hero. So for Ramatra, he's not only connected to Zenyatta, he's also connected to Doomfist. So maybe you can make it so where they need to win a certain amount of games with either of those heroes or play a certain amount of games and wins count as double progress, kind of like with Sombra and Echo. Doing it this way would give people three different avenues in order to unlock the hero. Firstly, through purchasing the battle pass. Secondly, through doing the hero challenges. And lastly, if all else fails, they don't want to do the hero challenges and they don't want to get a battle pass, at least by level 55 of the battle pass, they will be able to unlock the hero for free. Secondly, my favorite option in order to fix this is that they should add some sort of in-game currency in order to unlock heroes or maybe even to unlock other things that are in the game. One of the biggest complaints Overwatch 1 players had is that they took away loot boxes, which was kind of their free-to-play way of earning rewards. Currently, there really isn't any sort of suitable replacement to that, and I think maybe one thing they could do is maybe add like a shop to the store where it's like you could use free-to-play currency to purchase different skins or anything like that apex also has it so where you can unlock heroes with this in-game currency which is kind of where i'm getting this idea from whenever you would load into the game on a new season i had already had maybe a hundred thousand credits to unlock different heroes or recolors and each hero is only 10,000. so every time a new season drop and a new legend came out i already had enough currency to just instantly get the legend right away and the last thing that i think that they have to do this is something that literally should already be a thing I don't know why it isn't, but it needs to be. The battle pass, after you purchase it, needs to provide you with in-game currency to purchase the next battle pass. Why this isn't already a thing is incredibly weird to me. Every other game where I've played where they have a battle pass gives you enough currency through the tiering 
so where you can purchase the next battle pass for free. More times than not, many people will usually get impatient and end up using that currency on something in the shop anyway. But for those players who don't want to do that, they can just buy it once and then give them the in-game currency and they can buy it again. This would literally solve the issue. If they completed this battle pass this season and it had enough in-game currency, that means during the next season, anyone who purchased the previous battle pass and tiered up high enough to earn all of the currency that is in the battle pass, they could use that currency to buy the new battle pass for season two. This in turn would immediately unlock Ramacha for them. I think if they're going to put these heroes in battle pass and keep them at tier 55 at the bare minimum, at the bare minimum, they need to be giving people currency in order to buy the next battle pass because it's kind of ridiculous that it's not like this especially since the fact that this battle pass only has 80 tiers and nearly other every other battle pass has at least 100 you could quite literally keep all the same items in the same battle pass and just add 20 additional tiers and give them currency on the, along the way hell right now the way it is is it gives you little titles to go underneath your name to show how far you are into the battle pass just make it so where every time you unlock one of those titles it also gives you in-game currency but i don't know as i said this isn't going to be an issue for me because i'm going to get the battle pass regardless and i'm going to get them right away and honestly i dps most of the time anyway but i do feel for players who want to be able to play ramacha immediately or anyone that may be on my team and i'm like damn we need a ramacha we can't have one because they put it behind a paywall but i don't know i guess that's kind of the end of my rant but what do you guys think and what should they do in order to fix this issue to make it fair for everyone if you enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful please consider leaving a like on the video if you want to come back and see more overwatch content smash that sub button and i'll see you guys in the next video